So, race 20 is the Travelodge Stay Maiden. It's another one over four miles and two furlongs. I think this is the third long distance race this week. It's certainly, I think, the third, but it's a maiden anyway. Jawala Street for Doug Warren is number one. Kisses of Five for Darren Thompson is two. Lassie Esprit for Martin Leedham, three. Latterly Iota for Darren Howes, four. Pray for another day, Joshua Sutherland, five. Right Stuff, Obi Wan is six. Jockey Assassin, Paul Road, seven. Ty Kite, Go Sapper is eight. All oh, Gate Gate for Carl Arianti. Dell's Half Dell Hinton, name something for Kevin Meanhan, I think. Mary Antoinette. And I think the last one that I missed was Rockin' Robin for a Graham Clutterbuck. So 12 of them, and they get to the first. Everybody's over it. And lo and behold, it looks like uh, Go Sapper a horse might take it up, but it's not. And they get to the second. Oh, we lost one there, and a nasty fall. Pray for another day. Jockey and rider, jockey and horse look like they got up. Not bad luck to connections there, Joshua. Going at the second. So, here we are, and around, and it's right stuff, Marie Antoinette, Ty Codgin, all gate cat, they're all together, I should imagine that's out of the old gate put family, for Taunton, Daniel, oh, and they all get over the third, so, it's still Ty Cottage from right stuff, Marie Antoinette and old gate cat, get over that. Oh, there's a few sticky little jumps. There are a couple of lengths ahead of Dell's half, the jockey assassin us together. To the fifth. Everybody's over that one as well. So just towards the rear in the pack at the back, it's Lashley Iota, Jawala Street, Kisses of Fine and Lassie Esprit's last at the moment in the orange silks. But we're still being led by Ty Cottage and Wright Stuff all get put on the outside. And Mary Antoinette. We'll get over the six. Dell's half for Dell, and the jockey assassin, Rockin' Robin, Rattley Iota, Jawala Street, Kisses of Fire, and Lassie Esprit just at the rear. So they've got pretty Indian file here. We've only gone through seven fences. We approach the eighth, and we're being led by Obi Wan's right stuff. Ty Cottage in second. Most of them get over that okay. So they're through seven. Uh, still another 21 to go quarter of the fences down, and it's the right stuff that leads them from Tide Cottage, Mary Antoinette and Woodgate Cat together, Pink Silver Dell's half, Jockey Assassin a little bit wider, and then the three of Rocky Robin, Lashley Iota and Jawala Street together, and Sticky getting over that, Kiss the Fire and Lassie Esprit towards the rear. And they come alongside the grandstand, right, another three more times round. Stuff that's going to lead them past the winning post for the first time. From Ty Cottage in second. Big Cat, Mary Antoinette, and Dell's half all together. Wider is the Jockey Assassin. It's the Fences Rocking Robin. Coming behind him is Latty Iota for Darren House. Joala Street for the Warren Stables from Australia. And a couple back to Kisses of Fire and Lassie Esprit. See the Australians not too good at something. Although Django's rather good on the flat. They reach the oh, we've lost one there. Rockin' Robin's gone for Graham Clutterbuck. It's the same fence as uh, we lost Prey for another day. So it's uh, a bit tricky that one. Number two and number nine, I think. So next time round it will be 16. We'll keep an eye out for it. We get to the tenth. Sure still in it. It's all over. Still right stuff that leads us from all gate cap a wide. And then lengths back to Ty Cottage and Mary Antoinette. And two back to the Jockey Assassin. And a further lengths back to Iota. Latterly Iota and Dell's half. Then Jawala Street. Lassie Esprit at the rear with kisses of fire. You don't want to be there. Oh, and a bad dive at it there by all gate cat. Still there though. Made a mistake but managed to hold on to his position. Mary Antoinette looks a little bit stuck behind Right Stuff here. Doesn't do himself any favours. Right Stuff's keeping in uh, an old gate cat. And uh, Ty Cottage uh, locking up Mary Antoinette. And she probably was back in the Revolution days. Locked up. But she's a little bit out of it now. A little bit more room. We get to the 13th. They're all over it. A couple of poor jumps there by Dell's Half and Kisses of Fire at the rear. Into the 14th. Oh, and we lost another one there. 
latterly iota of Darren Howes has gone. Bad luck. So he's three down. Get to the 15th. Everybody's over that. So it's Ty Cottage and Right Stuff still together from Mary Antoinette and Allgate Cat. These four have been there since the beginning. And then we've got a couple of lengths back to the Australian horse to your Street and the Jockey Assassin and Dell's Half. And probably three, four back to Lassie Esprit. Get over the 16th this time. Kisses of Fire is, uh, is tagging on at the back. Uh, they're in that notorious pull up position. So, right stuff, still there. Ruby one. Sirius Head does have a few long distance horses usually. This has uh, nicely waited for the National. Gets over the 17th, but to get a little bit slower than the right stuff, he jumped himself into a, a neck lead. Tight Cottage, right stuff. Mary Antoinette, Allgate Cat, Jawala Street. Just behind those is the Jockey Assassin. He could well be getting assassinated again because he's just run up the back of uh, Mary Antoinette. And just stand up in the plate. And then the length back to Dell's half. And further two back to Lassie Esprit. And we can't see Kisses of Fire at the moment. So, towards the grandstand. Another circuit to go. It's right stuff and Tide Cottage. By about four to Juwala Street, Mary Antoinette, or Gig Cat. And further lengths back to Dell's Half. I see a spree still in shot. And we can't see kisses of fire. And as they go out to the final circuit, it's right stuff and tight cottage. All gate Cat, Mary Antoinette, Juwala Street running well, the jockey assassin. Dell's Half, Lassie a spree, kisses of fire. So right stuff, tight cottage. Let's see if he's the right stuff at the end. They get over the 19th. With a slow jump by Lassie Esprit at the rear. They've still got uh, a mile and a quarter here. So anything could uh, get into this. Kiss of the Fire is still running along well and just in shot. The right stuff, tight cottage. Go over the 20th. Rolling over it. Getting a little bit closer order now. Probably only. Uh, 12, maybe 13 lengths, 14 lengths from first to last. And right stuff and tight cottage are still there. They both get over the 21st. This is the remainder. I see a spree's made up a little bit of ground now. Got closer order. It's coming up on the outside of Dell's half. We get to the 22nd. Everybody's over it. Slow jump there by the jockey assassin. And it's the right stuff that's taken long now. He's off the bridle and being pushed along. Seven and a half furlongs still to travel. It's a long way to start going for home. But Ty Cottage makes a little bit of a move. Gets back within a length. Then we've got a length back of two to Mary Antoinette and the Jockey Assassin. A further length back to all gate catch while the street having a little having a little rest now. Length further back to Dell's half. Lassie Esprit and Kiss Safara together. So we're just over six furlongs left to go. Five fences to jump. They're over the 23rd. Everybody gets over it. Poor jump, I think, by Kisses of fire at the rear, they're into the 24th everybody's over that, Jawala Street took it badly went through the top of it, but Right Stuff's got himself a bit of an advantage here leads by 3-4, to four, gets over the 25th from Ty Cottage in 2nd, running on well now is Mary Antoinette in 3rd out of the pack comes Jawala Street but it's the Right Stuff still, leads by about 3-4 to four, from Ty Cottage, running on Mary Antoinette, the jockey assassin says go and starts to make his move, but the Right Stuff's going to be hard to catch here we've still got 4 furlongs to go, they're over the 26, there's 2 to jump and it's the right stuff, still there by a couple of lengths now to the jockey assassin. Ty Codger, Mary Antoinette may well have run their races. Jawala Street and Kisses of Fire trying to run on, but it's a long way from there. But it's the right stuff now being challenged by the jockey assassin inside three furlongs. It's the right stuff by half a length to the jockey assassin. A couple of lengths back to Ty Codger, who's having a second wind. And it's the right stuff gets over that one better. We've only got one to jump, and it's the right stuff from the jockey assassin on the outside. Ty Codger, Mary Antoinette running on. It's between these four. I imagine the right stuff still got the lead just by a neck now from the jockey assassin in second. Ty Cottage running on hard. Mary Antoinette under full pressure, but the right stuff's challenged now right inside the final furlong and a half. They all get over the last. The better jump was the jockey assassin. Ty Cottage is making a challenge. Right stuff's got nothing left, so it's the jockey assassin and Ty Cottage. These two are neck and neck over front now with four miles and two furlongs, and it's the Ty Cottage that just noses in front here. The Ty Cottage just got a little bit left from the jockey assassin in second. Right stuff's going to hang on for third, although Kisses of Fire and Mary Antoinette making a challenge. We'll get up for the final nine places. The Thai Cottage did well there. I think 
right lead Batlap for uh, the right stuff. He was there most of the time, but the Thai College for Ghost Supper takes it. The Jockey Assassin for Bull Rhodes is second. Right stuff for Obi Wan is third. Kisses of Five, Darren Thompson is fourth. And Mary Antoinette for Kevin Meenahan is fifth.